comment and subscribe. Okay, hi guys. Um, I already got my eyebrows done and I filled it in with the Wonder Brown, black and brown. Then I went over top of it with the Wonder Brown black um, on the tail and close to the front. I've already concealed my face and I've used it. At, oops, <laughs> I dropped it. Uh, Maybelline Master Pad and also the Never Pores, uh, Never Touch Up um, Poreless. Okay, I, I did the um, Maybelline Fit Me on my eyelids um, to conceal underneath my eyebrows. I already have my lashes on. Um, Okay, what we're going to do is start with the Maybelline, the Blush Nudes palette. And sorry, it's kind of dirty. Um, I use my makeup. So, um, yeah, we're going to start with a transition color. We're going to start with um, this one right here at the top. shades to sort of fade out fade out into this color okay and then I'm going to use the same brush but I'm going to go into this color here and go in our crease
Okay, and then we'll go one step down into this darker one right here. And put it in the crease. Just darken it down a bit. This process is um it just takes time to sort of build it to your desired likeness. To get it like you want it. Okay, now we're going to go into, we're going to use our flat brush and we're going to use this color right here on the lid. And it's like a smoke gray color. to that transition color and make sure we got it pretty blowed out. Sort of blend our colors out a bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my previous brush and go back and make sure we didn't leave, lose any of our transition color.
Okay. And we just gonna make sure. Okay, I'm gonna clean the brush off a little bit. And I'm gonna go into the front. I'm gonna go in the front with these two colors. I've already Sorry guys, my camera cut out, but I've already done my foundation. I used collab and tone it. And um, now what we're gonna do is highlight using Maybelline's uh, A for One and Medium. And we're going to contour using the black opal and suede. Let's just into the skin using the damp beauty blender. You can let it dry a moment if you would like. I'll go right ahead and apply it. Start pressing it into my skin. When I put it on. Just remember, if your beauty blender is too damp, it will uh, possibly remove some of your um, product off so not soaking wet but just damp okay and then I'm just gonna go back with the foundation brush and blend it Sinuses, <coughs> and I had a little draining. Then start draining. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Okay. 
get straight here in a minute. But just make sure you blend it. <coughs> blend it all the way up. <coughs> Keep pouncing this in. Make sure you go all the way back to your hairline, as far back as you can go to it without getting makeup all in your hair like I'm doing, but it's okay. I had just a tad bit more on my forehead. Since I got the contour coming down so far, I'm just gonna add just a little bit more. Go back and make sure everything is blended up. We don't have any lines anywhere. Okay, now we're gonna add our airspun powder, loose powder, to set our concealer. Okay, I'm gonna go up underneath the concealer. Add some powder. I'm sorry guys, my sinuses are still draining. So if I sound a little bit funny, it's because those sinuses are draining down in my throat. But that's not going to stop us from getting this video out. It's not going to stop us from, from working. So I'm just making sure that all of our um, concealer is covered. It's set. Now we're gonna set our contour in place with the Black Radiant Soft Focus in milk chocolate. And you'll notice me using a couple of products all the time because you know, those are my faves. I know how they're gonna work um, on my face. So I tend to lean to those, um, but I'm going to try some other products. I'm going to let y'all see me using some other products, not just the ones that um, I always use. <coughs> but the drugstore ones are so much more affordable than a lot of your high-end um, products are. But I did cop that Fendi, Fenty um, foundation. So, um, I might do um, a look using that foundation. Okay, let me go into the BH Cosmetic um, Neutral 
Nouveau Neutrals palette. And I'm going to pull out a, a blush from this palette. And notice I never wipe away my setting powder when I do this part. I guess it helps keep me um, in line with my placements of the product. But I'm using the pink out of this palette for blush. Okay, now I'm going to wipe away this bottom powder. Wipe it away. Do the under eyes real quick. I'm gonna take this color out of the BH And then we'll put this one close to the front. And then I'm going to add the blush color underneath it. At the base of this sort of grayish color I laid down. Sort of smoke it out a little bit. some of this color here to the inner tear duct. Tear duct. Okay, we've added our highlight. Um, <clears throat> the Blossom Glow by Wet n Wild. Um, we've also added um, our mascara by um, CoverGirl Peacock Flare. Um, my camera cut out again, I'm sorry. I'm um, not sure what's going on with it. But what we have left are lips. And what we're going to do is add um, Maybelline Superstay in the color number 90. To our lips.
okay now you can leave it here um, or you can add um, something else you can add um, another color on top however I like it like this if I do a gray sometimes I'll do nude sometimes I'll go a little bit bold and I'll do gray all over but with the, the, the face like it is the eyes um, you can just go nude and um, and wear the look like that however I, I like different stuff um, so I did get a little bold with this look and, and went with the um, um, the gray with the the gray shadow but by all means you don't have to do it like I, I did you can do a new lip and it be pretty um, as well so what we're gonna do is um, do something to my hair not something I normally do on camera but we're gonna try it out today and see how it comes out but we're going to um, do some cute with my hair so stay tuned okay so I've already put my hair up in like a little bun and um, I don't really like the baby hair things laid down on the edges so I cut them in but I don't lay them down so it sort of gives it more of a natural appearance and all I'm going to do is round the back the part that I left down take it in one and hold it for a few seconds I'm pretty sure everybody knows I'm one hair but I'm just going to hold it in there for a little bit you know put it down because I don't want it super short but I am using a pretty small um, one curl but this gives it a chance to um, fall naturally um, as a big one I'm like, you know, I'm going to go all the way to it. Let's hold it now for a second. And then, um, I don't want to finish it. And then he washing, so, you know what I'm Drop the curl down. It's been well curled a couple days ago, but not recent. But in this look good bomb. So okay, we're gonna take and do this out. We're just gonna have a few waves in. A little bit more than what we have already. It already has like a, a pretty wave in it. As it is, we just gonna a few more in there. And it's full of product because I am um, like the oil scalp. So it's got some product in. But you can't always um, use your um, free spray. It's a lot easier anymore. No, I'm not doing this really neat like I would if I was actually uh, going somewhere, going out. I'm just doing a quick little something right out to the store. No big nine or anything. And we're gonna just repeat this process all the way through. But you'll see I'll come back. Um I'll dress and maybe uh we go out the door.
Facebook. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for further uploads from me. Thanks for watching.